Pittsburgh 34 here, bringing in a box review. Um, this one's a different box because I've never gotten this one it's called Universal Yums. Um, so stay tuned. I came across it when I was surfing the web and I thought, why not? This is uh, you know, my, one of my wild cards I do for the, my channel. Um, there are several different types of boxes. The one I got was a um, 12 plus snacks. So what comes in it is um, every snack on the Yum Box plus six additional snacks to try. There's a 16 page uh, booklet with trivia and games, bonus content, recipes, trivia, and so much more. Um, so there's between six snacks, 12 snacks, and 20 snacks. I decided just to do the 12 snacks. Um, I mean, I could have done the 20, but I figured to start with this one and see if it's good. Um, so what it is, is basically um, there are snacks from different countries. Uh, like for example, go to the past boxes right here. Uh, there were some from Spain, Austria, Greece, Turkey, Indonesia, Indonesia, bleh, I can't speak, uh, Colombia, South Korea, um, Israel, Ukraine, Italy, and so forth. You get the idea, right? Um, and then, as you can see, to the right of me, but to your left. However you want to look at it. Here's my lovely wife. I decided to make her join me. She's nervous, if you can't tell, um, to be in the video. But I told her she wants to try these nice snacks, then she's got to be in the video. Fair enough, right, guys? Oh, good girl. It's okay. <laughs> Daughter wants to play, too. So, all right, for further ado, Let's see what I got. It says the land with the largest castles. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Guess we're gonna find out though. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, so we got Poland. As you can see, it tells you all the stuff that comes in the box. Um, it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, mamas. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay, so that's a description of what each snack is um then here's the pamphlet it looks like it tells you what's in it possibly maybe the recipes um or history probably she might be fine yeah yeah oh you're giving me smiles yeah my little angel um oh Say hi to everybody. Uh, you say hi. Do you want to join in too? Huh? She nothing against me coming in here and joining, huh? Yeah, go see mama. All right. So <clears throat> that comes. Looks like it's pretty well organized inside there. It's pretty cool looking. So let's see what. Here's the first one. Monster Munch. So, <laughs> it looks like ghosts, pretty much. And it might be, what is it? This one right here? Yeah. It is called Zaragoza. The ghoulish goodies in your box hail from this village. Oh, so it's from the village in Poland, uh, Zaragoza. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, if I don't, and anybody that's watching this from Poland, I apologize. 
but so just to show you the authentication that it is from a different country right up here is the language of Poland and then you got the English translation down here so it's a potato snack salted so it's kind of like a potato chip it looks like um, but right here see it's the different languages I'll even try to uh, try to pronounce it Kropik uh, or Kropiki, maybe? I don't know. Possibly. I ain't gonna try. But we'll try this one first. Sounds oh, like potato smell. chips. <laughs> like potato chips? Yep. Hmm. Oh, look at it. It looks like a ghost. Yeah. Definitely has a fill of a potato chip. There's yours. Hmm. Almost makes me think of like that veggie chip. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, it tastes like veggie chips, sort of. Thing I can think of. Yeah. Not bad though. No. Mm -hmm. Potato powder, cornstarch, wheat flour, potato starch, <laughs> sweet whey powder. Wow. It's a lot of different powders. Cheese powder, hmm. paprika powder, yeast, um, sugar. Um, yeah. That definitely goes against my bland diet I'm supposed to be doing right now, but oh, I can't. I'll put it off for this for now. <clears throat> All right, so next on the list, let's go with these. They're called Crunch Chips. And it's a Osmaku or Smaku Paprika Sticks. So these, mm. are you just looking at that one up here? Where did these ones come from? I'm not sure, I can't find it. Mm -hmm. oh. But these are all the places that they sent me the food from Poland. So. Um, Zaragoza, uh, so this, I'm, I'm just going to spell it out. It's S-Z-C-Z-Y-T-N-A, uh, shu, I'm going to slaughter it, Shuzinta, maybe, I don't know, uh, Toron, Warsaw, uh, Krakow, uh, Krakow, how do you pronounce it, and Lublin. All the different origins that they sent me from. So, but this is crunch chips sticks. It has a bell pepper on the front of it. It's paprika, so it's probably gonna be another potato chip kind of like thing. Um, there's another sunflower on the back of it. Yeah, there's a sunflower on the back of this one too. So, and that's one of the oils that they use. So, thanks to your sunflower oil for all this. So you can hear the little man in the background and our dogs. They're jealous that open open in a box. Comes the photo bombers. Not, not, not you. It's not a box for you guys though. Ooh, they're really tiny though. Smells good, delicious, but it's got a lot. It's about that much full. <laughs> See, a dog thinks it's good for them. You can't have it, but that's how tiny it is. Oh, <laughs> wow! It's a, it's a baby <laughs> chip. 
Yeah, those are a lot smaller than I thought they were gonna be. I wonder how big of a pack they have of flavor for one little piece. A lot of flavor. Wow. Yeah? That is really good, actually. I like that. It's not overpowering. It's just enough. For being very small, it definitely has more flavor than I thought. It is. Like, I feel like you can eat five of these and you should be good. <laughs> Are you making extra noise on the, on the well, video? That's really good. Yeah? I like that. You want to try some more? So far, that's, that's my favorite so far. First ones were okay, but that one flavor-wise is really good. Yeah, it's a lot smaller than we thought. Yeah. All right, so now we got crackers. Are you making bubbles? Crackers. Doesn't really say what kind of crackers. Just says crackers. So, um, oops. It's all upside down. Nice. Oh. Uh, crackers with black cumin seeds and onion. Interesting. Okay. I'm down. No, you can't have me back it off, little bummer. It's not dog food, you guys. Ooh. It's pretty strong smelling. Wow. Yeah, that's very strong. Did you re roll within that one? Yeah, I just said it. Okay. There's black cumin and uh, black cumin seeds and onion. So that's what the black seeds are right there. I was paying attention to my daughter, so I kind of missed that part. That's fine. Yeah, that's very strong. The smell, so it's probably gonna be very strong in flavor. Not really. No. No. No, no, no. When it comes to black cumin. I think when you bite into the black seed, you can uh, get more of the flavor. Oh yeah. Not bad. No. Not as strong as I thought because of the smell, but... Yeah. I'd be good in like a... I want to say like a French onion soup. Are you going to eat my hand, Missy? She's like, yeah, Mommy, you're eating all these other foods. Let <laughs> me get the flavor off your hand. I know, you're already teething. Um, this is like a dessert. Aww. So is this one. Let's just stick with the, what we're going so far right now. So, uh, pretzels. Okay, back. I had some technical difficulties. I need to go through my phone and uh, clear up some space. Um, like I was saying. Okay, so these are pretzels. Um, the name is Beskidski, uh, Paluski, and it looks like it is pretzel sticks with poppy seeds. Hmm. So, hope they don't have to get a drug test hmm. anytime soon. You know, the whole saying behind poppy seeds is uh, to make your drug tests come out positive. I don't know how true that is, but that's a lot of yeah. poppy seeds. <sighs> no, it's not for you, Riley, or Chloe. All right. Mm -hmm. It's a good sized pretzel though, I mean. I mean, there's really not much flavor to it. Yeah, because Puff Seeds don't have a lot of flavor. No. So it's more like, uh, it'd be like a good uh, snack. Um, this I could probably eat for my bland diet, you know. But I feel like you have to dip into something like some cheese or a yeah. sauce. What do you think? Yeah? Oh. Okay. So, you gonna go back to the I'm going down to the bare minimum here, so we got desserts coming out. So, 
I guess we just go with the next one on here. Um, these is a mini cakes, sponge cakes decorated. Doesn't really tell me the flavor, but there's an orange on the front of it. So I'm imagining that it tastes like an orange. It's not for you, you two. Please. Save some for Connor. Hmm. Go for the first bite. It's pretty neat. It's cute little it is cake. cute. I like the designs on the front with the chocolate. It's like little flames or you know something okay. like that. And there's the back part of it, inner part. Chocolate, so it's hard. Oh, so those are in the middle. I don't know. Soft. That gooey center. Interesting. Alright, there you go. See, it feels hard. It was actually soft to eat. Is it? Yeah. Smells good. It's pretty good. Not bad. Got a good flavor to it. Got to bite of the middle part, yeah. Mm. Mm, pretty good. Sweet, but it's not overpowering sweet. Uh -uh. It's really good. Good flavor. That middle piece, I think, is the orange flavoring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think a little guy would like that. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. So, sorry, sweetie, you don't get any of this. <laughs> this is Piernitsky with uh, chocolatize or chocolatezy. So I, I imagine that's probably uh, what it says down here is chocolate covered gingerbread with apple fillings. So I would imagine mm -hmm. chocolatezy is chocolate probably in Poland. That's pretty good. What's up? Right. Here's inside the bag. But, now you're looking. Yeah, it's a lot of air. Yeah, one of the favorites. Slowly down. Very strong, that one. Yes, it's Aroma. a very strong smell. Ah. Everybody can have smell a vision, right? You can smell that, huh? <laughs> take my word for it. It is very strong. And a piece. It's pretty cute. It's almost like a heart. That's what I was going to say. It looks like a heart when I saw it. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, that's what the shapes are. They're hearts. So, you guys can't have this for sure. This is chocolate. It's really soft and on the outside. And strong in flavor too. Ooh. Wow. Very strong in flavor. I like this chocolate side. Ooh. You can definitely eat one of these and be good. Yes. It's really really sweet. Especially when you get to the middle. Yeah when you get that middle little like, yeah. jelly type texture in there. Mm-hmm. So it's a chocolatey outside, spongy middle, and a gummy inside where their apple is. And there's our photo bomb right here. I think <laughs> she's still gonna get something. But yeah, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah, but I don't think I can eat more than one of those at a time. No, that's really strong. That's, mm, that's something you like milk with, but I ain't got milk, so I got juice. Yeah. It's good, great flavor, but very overpowering. Um, what one do you want to go next? Well, how about we do the white box? So far, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 
There's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Probably for me when I ripped it. Uh, I mean, I didn't say we're supposed to come in here. 12, 12? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The cake thing. No, you got that. Mm. 11. So, I guess it might depend on the size and stuff because I got a big old box right here. So, that could be. I'm going to say the. The variant on I this. I think you said uh, 12. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, first time getting the box, so I'm just going to assume that's probably why that's the case. Uh, so we'll go with the white box next. Um, it is Tego Delicia. It's a hazelnut cream filled meringues dipped in dark chocolate. Are you trying to do me I mean, so far it's pretty good. I mean, I like it. Yeah. It's different. Good to try new things. Mm-hmm. Well, this is why I say on my um, page that I do my box reveals, but I also do wild cards every once in a while. This is a wild card. Yeah. It looks pretty interesting inside there. There's a lot of powder Are inside. Are you going to talk about it too, Hi. Can you say hi? Chloe, <laughs> stop. My goodness gracious. Jeez. It's almost kind of like a freeze dried kind of treat almost hmm. filling. It's weird. Yeah. Interesting looking. Different. I don't know if that's supposed to blow into there or not. It don't look like it. No, maybe. I don't know, maybe. No, there's two pieces in there. Okay, so in each spot, there's two. Okay. But, here. Hold that one for a second. This is what they look like up close. This one's maybe the decoration on top. Yeah, I think it's the decoration on <laughs> top. You sure? Yeah. Oh. I'm not picky. Yes, she is. Don't listen to him. That was a lot different than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. It's like soft, but then with a little bit of a crunch in the middle. Well, the top the top part of it does have the feel of a, when it's freeze-dried. It melts in your mouth. Mm-hmm. That's it does. really good. It does. I need more of those, but I'm not going to. Kind of conserve it. Can't eat all in one setting, right? I mean, I could, but want another one? No, that's enough. Okay. I do like how it looks with like in your mouth, though, the chocolate part. Mm -hmm. The bottom part was really um, like uh, creamy, and the top part was the freeze dried part yeah. and the crunch to it. So, but it had chocolatey flavor to it. So, it was good. It's definitely one, one of my favorite spies so far in the box. Mm -hmm. It is. So I have like that. I like the mini cake. Um, you like these? The crunch chips. Um, these, but I only have one at a time because yeah, they're really powerful. Very powerful. So now we have four left. This one is Juan uh, <laughs> Olua. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. Uh, you already know I'm slaughtering all this stuff, so I'm okay. good. Uh, it's dark chocolate covered marshmallow. Now, how can you go wrong with that? You definitely can't go wrong with marshmallow and chocolate. No. It's dark chocolate, especially. Yeah. So. Okay, I'll get my hair out of your face. Ah. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five pieces in it. Oh, are you going to talk to? I know, you're just like, let me try some. Individual. You're so cool. little, Missy. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice little piece. A little mini cake almost. Uh, right? Uh, yeah? 
Yeah, you don't say. You want to pass You want to pass I just want to talk, I think. You just want to talk? Okay. Mm. Yep, pretty much. It's good. The marshmallow is really fluffy, though. Oh, well. Yeah, it's a little different than what you'd get here. Yeah, it's not like the, the marshmallows we have over here. It's definitely different oh. texture. More of a creamy marshmallow, sort of. Yeah, it's like melts in your mouth, really. It's not like a, a lingering, spongy marshmallow. It melts you in your mouth, right away. Are you trying to tell them that we don't, we don't feed you any of these yummy snacks? <laughs> mm, I don't know. A couple more months. This is a bag. And you get pure milk right now. It's called the yum bag, so this might have more in it, actually. So this might count for the, you know, the rest of it that's missing. Well, only one thing missing. So. Well, I said twelve plus. Twelve plus. Oh, okay. So. Oh, I see. Really? You need to come in voice first, my dear. Huh? Yep. So it's here. We had what eleven here? Yeah. So that's different. That's twelve. 13. Oh, so there's all kinds of different 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Are we going to my fingers? 19 total, maybe? I don't know. I'll count when I get to it. So <laughs> let's get to the next thing. Uh, nut break. Feel better doing better. Full of nuts. So it's milk chocolate bar with salted peanut filling. So it says filling. So is it like a peanut butter filling? Is mommy's thumb tasting this? Interesting. It's called nut break. Oh. Yeah, girl. You're starting to see the ring. Yeah. Yep. Well, nine shades. Looks like it's a mixture, maybe. Mixture of different nuts or no, like a nut and maybe a creamy peanut butter on the side of it, it looks like. Huh. But you can break it off into pieces. Our son definitely can't have this one. So if it's good we can eat as much as we want on this one, but that's what it looks like. So it's got a nice little decorative, you know, design on the top of it. <laughs> definitely doesn't smell like normal. Very soft though. I'm wondering if the crunch from a few nuts in there. It's just like kind of like a um, it's almost like I want to say kind of like a Snickers without the nougat. Yeah, sort of. Because the only crunch in there is the mm -hmm. nuts. Creamy, so it's kind of like a, so it's kind of like that, but then I feel like at the same time, because of how soft it is, it's almost like a, a peanut butter cup. But if the peanut butter cup had actual like uh, nuts yeah. mixed in with the peanut butter, yeah, kind of. So pretty good though, delicious. Um, all right, so next another bar. This is called Milky's Extra Smack. Milka Zitubk. Yeah, I probably didn't pronounce that right, but. <laughs> you probably did a lot better than I would. Well, that's just me, so. Just kidding. <laughs> milk chocolate bar with milk filling. All right. Pretty cool. No. It's chocolate. You cannot have chocolate. She's over here patting my foot <laughs> with her paw, going like this. Like, okay, I want some. I want some. Come on, Daddy. Give me food. Wow. I'm working up Fort Knox in this one. There we go. Broke I wanted to make sure he couldn't get into this one. So, it's just like the last one. You break it off in pieces. Yeah. 
Looks good. Yeah. Creamy white center it looks good. like. And then it has a really sweet aroma to it. Yeah. I taste coconut. There's a hint of coconut in this. Very faint though, so it's not very strong. No, it isn't. There is. There's ingredients though. No ingredients. Mm. Oh, it's good. It's oh, creamy. It is. Sweet. It is. That one is like a close to an almond joy, I want to say. But not overpowering with coconut flavor. I know there's coconut in here. Yeah, I'm determined to find it. Mm. Okay, here we go. It's really, really small. So it looks like I can read it. Cocoa butter. Oh, no, cocoa, cocoa. Cocoa. Hazelnut, almonds, sesame seeds, wheat and eggs. I do not see coconut. That is weird. Maybe a mixture of the flavors kind of made it kind of taste like it. Maybe. That is definitely peculiar though. Because it wasn't a strong flavor. No, so I wonder if it's maybe the hazelnuts that are in it with the almonds. Maybe. Because all there is is cocoa butter, milk filling, unless the milk is coconut flavor, I don't know. All right, so now those are 11 items. And here's the yummy bag. So let's pour it out real quick. For 11 counted that bag, so 10 items and then whatever's in the other. Yeah, so 10, no. That's 11 on this. Right. Yes, but we counted the 11 as this one. Oh, uh, okay. So it's a 10 minus what's in here. So here's 11, 12, 13. These are the same. So 14 and 15. So what is it? What? 16 is supposed to be in here? 12. 12. So got 15 total. So that's pretty cool. Not bad. Um, so it looks like there's two of each one in there? Well, actually these... I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know about these ones. I'm not sure. But, well, regardless, we still got more than 12. Yeah, still got more than 12. So you got what, what we paid for. This... <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it's a mystery. Some kind of candy, some sort. It feels like a hard candy in a way. Um, it's a red wrapper. Not sure what it could be though. So, um, careful, lady. Is that closer? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what it is. Um, so it looks like a little chocolate piece. Definitely chocolate. Take a bite. It's definitely sweet. It's got like a, a gummy center with a little crunch to it, like almost like a cracker. Hmm. But I can't can't place the flavor. So that's mine then? Yeah. Okay. I can't. That's a lot different than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I'm not I can't tell what the flavor is. It's like crunchy and it is. It's soft at the same time. It's weird. So this. I don't know where 
after like that. Got a little cow on there. Um, so I'm gonna do some kind of milk, you know, candy. Kind of make you think maybe like a fig slightly. Maybe I'm not sure. I don't think they got a flavor too. It's good though. It's a sweet, sweet flavor. This is uh, Zotka, I think. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, it's definitely wrapped weird. Sure. Looks like some kind of caramel candy. Nope. Breaks apart. It looks like it's got a, a creamy inside. It's interesting looking. Yeah. Wrapper after this one, still stuck in the middle right here. Smells like caramel. Definitely like any caramel I've ever tasted. Um, yeah, it kind of smell like it, but now I'm getting the flavor. I don't taste the caramel. Very, very, very sweet. Unique. I feel like, ooh, I don't like the after flavor. Yeah, that was very, very, very sweet. It's almost like, like a... very milky flavoring to it, but it's not, not the type of milk I drink. Does it kind of remind you of the glaze they put on a donut? Sort of. Sort of, kind of, but not completely. Like a bad donut? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't one of my favorites. No. I'd say, uh, I think it's a 2 out of 10. I'm going to have to try to get that flavor out of the mouth real quick. Mm. I'm going to think it's a 2. It does. <clears throat> Definitely not my favorite at all. Ooh. Ooh. It's like at the back of your throat. It lingers. It's yuck. gross. So this is the same kind of candy, but it's got purple wrapping. So chocolate. Um, Oh, yum. <laughs> so, that's what I'm thinking. So that's kind of like a raisin. Stick it on one. your finger is what I think of raisin. Mm -hmm. It almost is like a raisin. Oh, hold on. Sorry. See it. See, it's kind of like a like raisin like inside there it's different it's good though i like that flavor <clears throat> better than the last one that's for sure but um little man definitely can't have any of these so these ones are way too hard for him that looks cute you oh, oh, really so this is a red one also so i wonder it's probably the same thing Those are pretty good. It's like a strawberry now that I'm thinking about it. And the last one is like a grape. Or same as the other red one. It's a red one. So it's almost like a strawberry. I want to say. So it's pretty good. Um. So on the back of this, you get a puzzle. Um, yeah, I see what you mean by strawberry now. Mm -hmm. You get game on one side, and then you get to rate each one of the candies on what you think is you know best, going from best, second best, worst, and weirdest. So definitely weirdest I've ever had. 
Oh, do we have multiple of the same ones? No. Yeah. I might have to take them to work and let some people at work try this stuff. <laughs> All right, so in the book um, that I get, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what's inside. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. There's snapshots of different stuff, upcoming events, food and flavors. There's trivia questions. Like, Poland is home to the world's tallest. A, statue of Jesus. B, pine tree. C, observation deck. Or D, museum. I'm not sure. Probably... I would say maybe history museum, I would guess. I don't know. I'll find the answer later. Um, okay, so these are some fun facts of all the snacks that we tried. Monster Munch Original, which was the ghost potato chips. Fun fact, every year the average pole consumes over 250 pounds of potatoes. That's more than the weight of a baby elephant. That's pretty crazy. Um... The Tego Delicia Moraines, um, the cookies with creamy nut filling and dark chocolate drizzle. Um, here's a challenge. Name a cookie that's lighter or crisper or crispier than Moraines. Trick question. You can't unless you answered Bezzy, the Polish word for Moraines. Um, those little marshmallow ones, the dark chocolate covered rodella. It is a marshmallow coated in chocolate it might sound delicious, but probably not inspiring. That's about the change. You see, in 1851, Carl Ernst Weddell founded a chocolate company which passed down to his grandson, um, Jan Weddell, during World War II, when Nazis seized control of Warsaw's food supplies and schools. That's pretty cool. It's got a nice historical value to that one. Um, oh, so that wasn't, that's not an orange, that's an apricot. Oh. I guess I should have looked at it better. It's an apricot. Dr. Um, Gerard Apricot Mini Cake. Glazed sponge cake with cream filling and apricot, <coughs> apricot, red, crot, crot, <laughs> apricot jam. Don't mind him, he can't talk tonight. Um, with this yum, you're getting a taste of a long-time tradition in a brand new way. You see, the first Polish sponge cake recipe was documented in the Combinium for Kulerum. Yeah, I probably didn't pronounce that right. <clears throat> a Polish language cookbook written in 1682 by the head chef for Prince Alexander Lubomirski. Lubomirski. Um, that's pretty cool. So that explains why. Yeah. Doesn't taste like an orange. Um, well, I never got any of the center of that one. Oh, you didn't try the center? No, I don't think I did. I thought you did because I had the. Well, maybe not. You didn't. Uh, the paprika carty chips, one of my favorites. Um. Over dinner that. tables throughout the mm -hmm. U.S., you'll hear requests to pass the salt and pepper, but in Poland, you'll hear something different. Pass the paprika. Mm -hmm. Okay, you won't really hear pass the paprika since they speak Polish, not English, but you get the idea. Mm -hmm. You're not going to eat right now, sweetie. Uh, the bright red powder, oh, <clears throat> red powder made from dried bell peppers is one of Poland's most beloved spices. It's pretty cool. Um, okay, so now to the nut break bar. <laughs> it's been estimated that the average American eats four pounds of peanut butter per year. That's pretty crazy. I probably eat twice that much. I was going to say. <laughs> You probably eat most of it or twice that much. I love peanut butter. It doesn't. Anyways. Yeah, first time I just got that love from you. Oh, yeah. Um, it's also been estimated that Europeans eat less than a tablespoon of peanut butter per year. That's pretty crazy. 
We don't know where everyone is getting these peanut butter estimates from, but we do know they mean one thing outside of the United States, peanut butter is not that popular. Hmm. Huh. Peanut growers in the United States have been pushing the use of peanut butter in Europe for years and their efforts have worked in Britain, Germany, and Netherlands. Their next focus, Poland. Slowly, peanut butter has started popping up in Polish health food stores. As you can see here, chocolate wobbles nuts break combines melty milk chocolate with a salty peanut butter or peanut filling for a classic duo that works that's working hard to make all poles into peanut butter coverts. That's interesting. Didn't realize that peanut butter wasn't that fascinating outside of the United States. I know, would you survive? I would. <laughs> but it's pretty weird how they're trying to force it upon everybody though. All right, <clears throat> crackers with black cumin and onion. You never had a cracker that can, this confusing before. That makes it so confusing. It all comes down to the main ingredient. Black cumin, you see, black cumin seeds look like pepper, smell like fennel, and taste like nutmeg. Confusing, right? When the seeds first spread throughout India, the Middle East, and Europe, they picked up a few different names, black caraway, black cumin, fennel flour, nutmeg flour, and Roman um, coriander. Just the name of a few. But let's keep things simple. In Poland, the seed is known as Schwarzkumel. Yeah, that's not simple. And it's traditionally used uh, to add a warm, satisfying flavor to breads, rolls, and crackers. Interesting. So, um, this video is a little longer than my most videos, and it's only because it's different. So I'm trying to read through all the different stuff. Oh, baby girl. Probably is getting hungry. Um Alright, so chocolate covered gingerbread with apple fillings, the really overpowering one. In 1825, Polish composer Frederick Chopin, um then only fifteen, visited the city of Torun in a letter to a good friend he spoke of all the amazing things he encountered there. The Orient Gothic churches the famous Leaning Tower, the spectacular tow, um, tow, <laughs> Town Hall. Bleh. Then he wrote, Yet all of these, all of this does not surpass the gingerbread. Interesting. Uh, Alright, so we got the milk chocolate bar, sweetened condensed milk. We all know what that was. It's pretty good. The pretzel sticks with the poppy seeds. Just as you might associate poppy seeds with bagels, the same is true for um, Polish. Poppy seeds coated bread greens called obrons, obron, oh no, obwarzonek krakowski. Interesting. Okay. Now on to the little tiny candies. Chocolate candies with strawberry, aha, I was right on one of them, and black currant filling. So the purple one's black currant. So it's pretty good. It's close. There's berries. Um, if you love berries, you love living in Poland. Fresh strawberries are sold by the Kobielak. Uh, Ko Kobielak, which is a bulk basket that's five times larger than strawberry containers in U.S. supermarkets. Black currant, a dark sweet berry native to the country. Flavors. Everything from juice to meat dishes, you got a taste of this phenomenon with the last month's gingerbread inside the yum yum box. Nice. Pretty good. All right. That's the one I'm interested about. So, this is not a caramel, it's a cream fudge. Ready? You're about to try Poland's most beloved candy. Sorry, Poland. <laughs> <clears throat> no offense. Um, Karaka, or cream fudge, is the most popular candy in Poland. Turns out the best things are sometimes the simplest. It is made using just three ingredients. Cream, butter, and sugar are whisked until thick. Yeah. Oh, well, hold on. 
sheet pan, cut into singles. So the result is a buttery caramel candy. So it is a caramel, but it's called cream fudge. That's why it kind of had that caramel smell to it, but it didn't really taste a whole lot like caramel. Really. Yeah, no, no, not at all. And they made a little bit over there. I definitely don't love it. Oh. So they were all the same, though that one didn't have a different one. No, that one didn't have a different one. They were all the same. So, Alright, so now it goes on to the Yum Bag, or sorry, from the Yum Bag goes to uh, Exploring the Forest, Timeline of Polar Science, um, a little recipe book for, it looks like, Pyorgris, um, and the trivia answers. So, Alright, that's my box. Um, Definitely different. I might do it again um, eventually, uh, but I might switch back to my pops in the box. So, uh, like always, leave a comment below. Um, like I said, I know this video is a little longer than most I've done, uh, but it was trying all these different snacks and all the different distractions, <laughs> the little ones. Yes. Oh. Um, but. Uh, Hope you enjoy it, and um, yeah, leave comments, hit the like button, don't forget to um, hit the bell below so you get the notifications, and subscribe, and uh, this is Big Smurf, my beautiful wife, and my beautiful baby girl. Mm -hmm. ah, <laughs> She's more content looking at me right now. She's, and our lovely dogs, yes, um, signing off. See you until next time.